you have to push things, you know, that's, that comes from inside, that you take risks and walk a bit of a line. Part of risk taking sometimes is like, you have to believe in yourself. This was once a big white room and, you know, blank sheet of paper or whatever you want to call it. And you got to throw the first punch and not let that intimidate you, you know, and, and you have to be first and, and make a mark so then you can move from there. With like this kind of painting sometimes, you know, I get such wide, wide reaction. I get a lot of really positive feedback, you know, and then there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who are just like, I don't understand what the hell this is. You know, every artist out there, I don't, you know, music, writing, whatever it is, there's trends. A lot of people follow trends and then a lot of people see you following trends and a risk is like going outside of that trend and going away from those things and going off on your own. I don't know, trends are weird because there's, there's, there's this way of like being timely and now and then just being trendy. That's where you have to take risks. Especially in New York, but just in life, I feel like you're going to fail. And at times you'll fail miserably and other times you'll fail not so miserably. That's okay, you know, you just have to keep it moving and, and be able to get up from that and be able to move forward. Everybody, especially, you know, I think artists and creative people, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the self-doubt. Why is this guy doing well? I'm not doing well. There was a group show, all your friends got down, but you didn't, you had a similar idea and this guy's doing all well with it. And this guy's bought a loft, you know, I got a one bedroom rental, you know, in Queens. You have to fight past that, that really hurts you. If you don't keep that positive momentum going, even in the face of negativity. You know, I, I go back and forth between there were certain times where I said, okay, you know, enough of that. And I kind of put on, you know, blinders, if you will, and just focus on what I do. A place where you're just focused in, on what you're doing. And then other times you have to be out a little bit and, you know, kind of be s social and see people and, and let them inspire you or go look at art and, you know, do whatever, listen to music and read or whatever, but you have to, you know, not let the outside world affect you where you get too caught up looking at what other people are doing and comparing yourself to everyone. I guess that takes confidence. I mean, I don't really know, you know, but I've definitely made conscious choices to do exactly that. And it worked. <laughs> or it was helpful. It was helpful.